Good morning students, welcome back to the next lesson atomic structure. So, in this lesson you have the learning objectives. The first one you have to understand the Rutherford gold foil experiment. Why he prefer gold foil means it is a most malleable metal. The next one to identify the limitations of Rutherford atom model. Limitations means drawbacks of Rutherford atom model. The next one explain the main postulates of Bose atom model. The next one you compare the charge and the mass of the subatomic particles that is protons, neutrons and also electrons. Then calculate the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in atomic number and mass number of an element. Atomic number means denoted by the symbol Z and mass number means we have denoted by the symbol A. Next one draw the structure of atom of some of the elements only for 20 elements you know that. Then differentiate isotopes, isobars and isotones. Then valency of various elements based on the number of valence electrons. For example, aluminum. Aluminum it has the atomic number 13 and electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 3 and the valence electrons it contains 3 electrons. So, it has the valency 3. In this way you have to find the valency. Then recognize this significance of quantum numbers. Quantum numbers means we have to define the number of atomic variables and the atomic um, orbitals and uh, uh, electrons that is present in an atom that is the quantum numbers. The next one state the state and explain the laws of multiple proportion, reciprocal proportion and the law of combining vol volumes. So, these are the topics you have, you have to learn about. Discovery of nucleus. So, in the uh, lower classes you studied the various uh, atom model that is jo John Dalton's model and also uh, J. J. Thomson atom model. So, you will in this chapter you will learn about the uh, Rutherford atom model and also the Bose atom model. So, the first one that is explain the discovery of nucleus. In 1911, Lord Rutherford, a scientist uh, New, uh, New Zealand performed his famous experiment of bombarding a thin gold foil with very small positively charged particle plus and it is called as the alpha particle. The positively charged particle it is called as the alpha particles. Why he selected a gold foil means because he wanted a thin layer. So, gold is the uh, he selected the gold and here gold is the most malleable metal. Now, come to the picture. Now, see the uh, alpha particle of radium. This is the source here and you can come to this is a gold foil, thin gold foil. This is a thin gold foil and this is the, the next one is a luminant screen to detect the scattered alpha particles. Now, here a yeah, alpha particle is bombarded with the uh, thin gold foil. What happens means some of the beam of the alpha particle, most of the alpha particles that goes to through a straight line and some of the alpha particles that is slightly deflected here and a few alpha particle that is bounced back from its uh, original path. So, f this, these are about the picture of the uh, Rutherford experiment, scattering experiments. See here, this is the alpha particle, radium source is the alpha particle. Here, it is the beam of alpha particle is scattered through a thin gold foil. What happens here? Some of the particles are deflected and most of the alpha particle goes to through a straight line and some of the alpha particle that is a deflected from its original and very few alpha particle that is deflected back. So, from this 
alpha scattering experiment what you understood means most of the alpha particle passes through a foil and some of the particles were slightly deflected from their straight path and few very few alpha particle that is uh, bounce back see the picture most of uh, most of the alpha particle that is goes through a straight line and some of the alpha particle were slightly deflected and very few only alpha particle that is uh, bounce back so from this experiment what you concluded here means this alpha scattering experiment and he suggested a model of an atom that model of an atom is called as a rutherford model of an atom model of an atom is called as a rutherford model of an atom so i explain the rutherford atom model the first one the atom contains a large empty space the atom the atom contains a large empty space there is a positive charge mass at the center of an atom and it is called as nucleus the size of the nucleus of an atom is very small compared to the size of an atom then fourth point the electrons revolve around the nucleus in a circular path the electrons are revolve around the nucleus in a circular path this path is called as orbits or shells or energy levels then the last point an atom as a whole is electrically neutral because the number of protons and the electrons in an atom are equal so these are the five points to explain the rutherford model of an atom the first one here the atom contains a large empty space and then the electrons are and the positive charge part, uh, is at the center of the nucle uh, nucleus of an atom and here the electrons all re revolve around the nucleus in a circular path this path is called as orbits or shells and this atom is electrically neutral and it is called as uh, uh, it is electrically neutral so it is a number of here that is a number of protons and electrons in an atom are equal this rutherford atom mo model is same as that of the solar system in solar system the sun is at the center and the planets are revolve around the uh, sun and here in rutherford atom model the nucleus is at the center and the electrons are revolve around the nucleus in an atom now what are the limitations in rutherford atom model Now, according to electromagnetic theory a moving electron should accelerate and continuously they lose the energy if due to the loss of energy the path of the electron may reduce or decreases and finally what happens here means the electron should fall into the nucleus and finally what happens here the electrons are fall into the nucleus if it happens so atoms become unstable but you already know that atoms are stable hydrogen h oxygen o nitrogen n the atoms are stable so if it happen like this means the atoms are unstable so this model the rutherford model does not explain or fail to explain the stability of an atom this is the limitations of rutherford atom model the next one the next scientist in the year 1913 a danish physicist explained the draw, uh, explained the causes or reason of the stability of an atom model the model is called as bohs model of an atom it's a very very important model very very important question the main postulates of bohs model of an atom in atoms the electron revolve around the nucleus in a stationary circular path the circular path are called as orbits or shells or energy levels 
Let us come to the second point. While revolving around the nucleus in an orbit, the electrons neither loses nor gains energy. The third point, an electron in a shell can move from higher or lower energy level by observing or releasing a fixed amount of energy. So, here listen here, if an electron absorbs energy means it jumps from a lower energy level to a higher energy level and sometimes it jumps from higher level energy to lower energy means it releasing a energy, so it releasing a some fixed amount of energy. Then the, the, the center is the nucleus and here the orbits are, the electrons are revolve around the nucleus in a different orbits or shells. They are represented by the numbers uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and our letters K, L, M, N. Here the uh, nucleus is at the center, the first shell is called as K shell. The K shell is nearest to the nucleus, so it has the least amount of energy. The next shell, L shell. The next shell, M shell, N shell. So, you have to represent the letters K, L, M, N and the numbers are 1, 2, 3. So, these are called as the numbers 1, 2, 3 are called as orbits or shells or energy levels. So, these are the important postulates of Bose atom model. Now, what are the limitations of Bose atom model. Now, only one main limitation was that this model was applicable or used only to hydrogen and or hydrogen like ions H plus. For example, H, H helium plus, lithium 2 plus, Be 3 plus and also, but it cannot, it, uh, it could not explain the e extended to multi electron nucleus. Then come to the next topic that is explain the discovery of neutrons. What is the symbol of electrons means E minus, proton means P plus. Now discovery of neutrons. In the year 1932, a scientist James Chorvik, James Chorvik was the student of Rutherford. He observed the one experiment when beryllium Be was exposed to alpha particle with the exposed alpha particles, some of the particles are emitted. The emitted particles, it has a no charge, but the mass is equal to the mass of the protons. Now, see the picture. This is the source of an alpha particle. Alpha particle is bombarded with the beryllium plate. What happens here means and some of the alpha, uh, some of the particles are emitted. Some of the particles are emitted. The emitted particle has no charge. But this mass, the emitted particle mass is equal to the mass of the proton. So, it is called as what? Neutron. Here the radiation is what? Neutron. Here beryllium plus alpha ray gives carbon plus neutron. Neutron means it has no charge. So, the emitted particle it is electrically neutral, it has no charge. So, they were called as neutron and it is denoted by N10. Here 1 is the represent the superscript, 1 is represents its mass, but the subscript is uh, explained 0 is represents its electric charge. And what are the properties of neutrons? This particle, neutron particle was not formed to be deflected by electric or magnetic field prove that this atom, this neutron is, it is electrically neutron and its mass is equal to 1.676 into 10 power minus 24 gram that is equal to 1 AMU means 1 atomic mass unit. So, these are the topics we have to uh, learn here. Now, these are the very important questions through the Ford model of an atom, Bose model of an atom and also they explain the discovery of the neutrons. Okay. Now, you come to the assignment, do the assignment or explain the Rutherford atom model. The second one explain the postulates of Bose atom model. The third one, what are the limitations of Rutherford atom 
model these three questions you have to learn and write one time. Okay, thank you students.